Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Mac on Sports. Today, I'm bringing you the Kentucky versus the Bahamas national team game. I'm very excited for it. I don't know what to expect from this Kentucky team. So I'm a little nervous, but I want to win every game. So, but I'm not going to take it as seriously, of course, as I would a regular season game. But you want to win them all. So let's hope the Cats do it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's game day. Bahamas Nationals team. Will Kentucky be able to beat them? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to vlog it very shortly. Got the little mellow socks on. Can the cast do it? Stay tuned. Kentucky starting lineup just came out for their first preseason game this year. Quad A Green, sophomore, coming back. We had Kelvin Johnson. Of course, he was going to start. One of the best players in high school last year. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, a couple guys that do surprise me. Nick Richards, returning sophomore, is in the starting lineup. Thought they would have gone with Reed Travis, but it's preseason. It's groups of five. We don't say platoon at Kentucky because that hurts us in recruiting, actually. So we're actually groups of five. So Nick Richards, P.J. Washington, returning starter, took his name out of the draft. He's starting. And last but not least, Emmanuel Quickly. So freshman, hey, you can't go wrong with the starting five. It's definitely not what I expected. But I don't mind it. I mean, I like it. So stay tuned. First TV timeout thoughts. 19 to 11. Uh, six minutes into the game. Kentucky's good. We're going to be good. Um, just the amount of depth this team has is unbelievable. I like the way they're out and running right now. And they just look in shape. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Kentucky's playing pretty good. There you go, Higgins. There you go. Good take. Oh, good move! Good move! I like the way we've been playing. You know, Bahamas cut it to four, but we struggled with pick and roll. Coach Cow's been working on it practice. That's good, though. I like, oh, good steal again! Hey, guys, let's go! In transition, give it up, give it up! No! All right, all right, it's gotta be better, but hey, I like it. Good progress, good progress. Let's see, out of bounds, we were really good last year. Tyler Harrow, pull up. He's got such a nice stroke to him. I mean, if you watch his high school mixtapes, the guy, I mean, he's good at threes, but I think the best part of his game is his mid-range. So, good little, good. Yeah, Kentucky's starting to play a little better. I like it. Let's keep it up. Let's see what goes on here. That's good defense right there. Ooh, ooh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. Hey, the Braves took the lead, though, so now I'm very happy. Let's go! So, halftime update. The Cats are up by six or eight. You know... First unit to start the game, ooh, I mean, they were good. They were moving the ball quickly, nice nice firm cuts, shooting good shot selections, clamping down on defense. I mean, the amount of guards we have that can just play, like Hagens and quickly, they can go full court press, and ooh, Keldon Johnson gets up in your grill, so I like that. Second unit came in, meaning like Tyler Hero, uh, EJ Montgomery, Reed Travis, and yeah, so I mean... And Ashton Hagens, they were they were decent to like to, they they weren't good to start off, but then in their second platoon, like the final four minutes, they started getting it going. Uh, I'm very impressed with Nick Richards. Uh, the way Nick Richards ended like his season last year, I didn't think he was good. Like he missed so many dunks, he was too soft. But he's been in the weight room this off season. I like the way he looks. I think he's really really looked good. I mean, I think he was the best Kentucky player in the first half. I mean, baby hooks. Dunks, free throws. He was blocking shots at the rims or rim. I mean, he was he was doing good, so I liked it. I was also impressed with Ashton Hagens. I liked the way he commanded the floor, but his defense, he gets all up in your grill, and I really liked it. So that's the halftime update. Hopefully Kentucky holds on to win the second half. Now we do play four games in the Bahamas, counting this one. I'm expecting us to go three and one. Saturday night or Saturday night. Saturday night we have a tough game. But Hey, I'm just taking it one game at a time. I like it, and yeah. And by the way, Kentucky fans who travel to the Bahamas are insane. It's sold out. It's all Kentucky blue. I don't care what anyone says. Kentucky is the best traveling fans in the nation. We are crazy. I love it. So, yeah, we'll see how the second half goes. Start of the second half. Bahamas are on a run. They just tied it up. Timeout Kentucky. Second unit's not really looking that good. Reed Travis just doesn't seem to be comfortable. They keep double teaming him on the block, and he just doesn't seem like he can really handle it right now. I think Kentucky needs to go back to their first unit that they started the game with. They seem to gel the best and get on a run. But 42-42, not a good start to the second half. Need it to get better. 
Go Tyler. I like the way he's playing. You know, as we drop the lead, but we got it back there. I like the way Tyler Hero is starting to play. I mean, he's got 14 now, I want to say. He's getting a little extra playing time. I like it. He needs to keep it up. Kentucky's offense is too stagnant at the moment. They're doubling the post. Can't do any post entries. Cuts aren't working. Oh, no! Ooh, referee! Oh, no, no, no! Get that out of here. Oh, we got a little scuffle now. Watch this defense here, all right? Good switch by Nick Richards. Big man that can move. But Quad is staying with the big guy by not closing out too bad. Good hustle by PJ knocking it. Now watch Tyler. He's going to try to throw an alley-oop. Almost gets the end to PJ. But come on. I know. I like the hustle there. And then quickly he's going to get fouled. But look, even though it's an exhibition game, two-point game right now, Tyler just needs to be going up for the layup. I understand it's exhibition game. But you have a chance right here to yam it. And this is P.J. Washington. I think he's going to be good this year on the block. Tough shot. I like it. Good effort. Richards was there on the boards. But I think Harrow just needs to just go and just get it, man. Get a little two points right. Twenty-two days. Let's go. 66-53. Kentucky's really starting to play. Reed Travis is starting to become a man. He's a beast on the rebound or re offensive glass. He could be the best rebounder in the nation this year. I like the way we're playing. We got eight minutes to just hold on to the win. Even though it's preseason, I want to win every game. I'm not as hyped as I would be during regular season. So get ready for Duke because when that game happens, mm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be going off. But, yeah, I'm excited. All right. There we go. Brad Calipari coaches. So I'm going to get the roll. It does. And Kentucky goes on a good run. Here we go. Here we go. Guy comes on the lane. Nick Richards sends it to another planet. Could he be a breakout year? Could he get himself inside the lottery? We'll just have to wait and see. The way he's playing is pretty dang nice. Now let's check out this dunk by Tyler Harrell on a fast break that's coming up any second. There it is, Tyler Harrell, fast break, throw it down. Looks like a little Rex Chapman, could he be the next one? And then Richard says, boom, out of here. Hey guys, game just finished up. Kentucky ended up winning by 24. I was very proud of their effort. I thought it was a good game overall. Um, Bahamas team's not bad. They had a little veteran leadership, but they, they were pretty young in the most part. So Kentucky goes 1-0 in this Bahamas tour. Got Santiago, De Lorenzo, something like that. They're an Argentinian team. They're very good uh, in the Argentina League. Kentucky, the, the tough test is going to be Saturday night against the Serbian champions. But yeah, good, good performance. Uh, my post-game recap, you know, I thought um, Breed Travis really had a good second half. I thought he came on, especially because he's a fifth-year senior. You know, that's what you want from your guy. So I, I really enjoyed that. Like, he's a beast on the rebounds. Like, he, he, he's special. He is very special. Um, Ashton Hagens, I mean, I think he's going to be a good defensive player. He's just got to slow down the offensive game a little bit, but I, I enjoyed him. Um, Nick Richards, I mean, played a great game. And when Nick Richards, all he needs to do is have fun. When he has fun, Nick Richards is a player to be reckoned with. He's a good player. Very good. Keldon Johnson shot 3 for 13, but the effort he gave was great. The shots will come. Keldon's a good slasher. He almost threw down a sick dunk. So, I mean, I really enjoyed his game tonight. And, yeah, Emmanuel quickly was running the office good, or offense good. Quaddy Green was decent. He was all right. But overall, I think this team is going to be good. It's fun. One down. You know, we got 43 more to go if we want a championship. Not counting these pre well, yes, counting these preseason games. But hey, road to 44 0, right? Actually, 46 0, because we played two other exhibition games versus Transylvania and some other team. But um, yeah. So that was a fun, vid or fun video to make. If you guys want to see more vlogs like this, please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, just comment if you want to see some more. So I have fun doing them. I think I'm going to keep doing them, especially for football season. Oh, God, that could be a train wreck. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Tell your friends and subscribe.